The forum forms a part of the wider activities for the public education program on the Caribbean Court of Justice and the Privy Council. Chairperson of the Youth Forum Planning Committee, Senator Chanel Govaya, expressed special appreciation to APUA INET for its sponsorship of the Youth Forum. According to Senator Govaya, the forum is a significant national exercise, so it is important for the youth of the nation to be engaged on an issue which will affect their generation. It is often said that the youths are the future, but I say that we are the now. The youths must get involved in the discourse on whether or not Antigua and Barbuda should migrate away from the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council to the Caribbean Court of Justice as the court's final court of appeal. Thank you, INET, our sponsor, for your invaluable partnership and support of this important national discourse. Without you, this would not be possible. Youth Forum Subcommittee member Daryl George says that a packed program is planned for the forum. Over 2,000 young people are expected to turn out. We're going to be having presentations from both the CCJ and the Privy Council, and we'll also be having a discussion on whether or not the CCJ or the Privy Council is the right choice for Antigua and Barbuda. We'll also be given a presentation by the Antigua and Barbuda Electoral Commission on the potential rules and guidelines for the referendum process. In between, it's not going to be just presentations. We're also going to be having a question and answer segment, and we'll also be having a prize giveaway sponsored by APOA INET. From all accounts, the response for the forum has been good thus far, with a number of young persons expressing interest. Friday, the 11th of March, 9.30 to 3.30, is a very momentous day in terms of the history of Antigua and Barbuda. This is our first referendum, and we are encouraging all young people to come out in your numbers to support, to ask questions, get feedback, and to be able to make an informed decision when the time comes for the referendum. APOA's communications and marketing executive, Flory White, says that INET is keen on youth development, hence the organization's participation in the forum. We saw this as yet another opportunity to make a contribution to the development of youth in Antigua. We as a company see this forum as a unique event which brings together over 2,000 of our nation's youth. This forum which gives them information not usually attainable in the classroom makes this a valuable and necessary experience. INET once again is pleased to assist in this program. The event will be held on Friday 11th of March at the St. John's Pentecostal Church House of Restoration beginning at 9.30 a.m. The official launch of the Public Education Program and Public Sector Consultation will be held on Thursday under the theme Making an Informed Choice, the Caribbean Court of Justice or the Privy Council. Alcian Tita reporting for ABS News.